just south of Ripon, and an English electric type 1, D8300, passes with the Ripon goods. Approaches to Ripon, a twin span cast iron bridge carried the line across the Borough Bridge Road and the adjacent Ripon Canal. The second major water crossing lay at the south end of Ripon Station, where a viaduct spanned the River Ewer. In addition to spanning the river, the bridge also carried the route across two roads. The original viaduct was wooden. But after doubts were raised over its safety by Ripon City Council, it was replaced by a metal structure. Headed by a Type 4 D1511, then only a few months old, the northbound Queen of Scots approaches Ripon Station in the summer of 1963. Despite Ripon's city status, the Pullman service didn't stop here. And the first scheduled stop for the Queen of Scots after leaving Harrogate was at Darlington, 30 miles to the north. Located somewhat inconveniently on the northeastern outskirts of the city, Ripon Station was 30 miles from Leeds and 16 miles from the connection to the East Coast Main Line at North Allerton, a journey that took only 20 minutes by train. The DMU leaves Ripon for North Allerton. A BR-built diesel-electric 060 D3946 acted as the station pilot and handled shunting movements in the goods yard to the north of the station. The York-based shunter also acted as the motive power for goods workings to the Masson branch. And on board the brake van of the pickup at Ripon, a DMU waits in the down platform with a Leeds North Allerton service. The viaduct at the south end of the station by which the tracks crossed the River Ure was demolished in 1972 following the line's closure. superb views of Ripon's magnificent cathedral, parts of which date back to the 7th century when one of England's first stone churches was built on the site. 